pleasant day everyone! For today's video, we're going to discuss simple interest, and I will give examples for you to understand it. But first, let's define simple interest. According to Bankrate.com, it is the interest calculated on the principal portion of a loan or the original contribution to a savings account. To get the simple interest, we need to follow the formula I is equal to P times R times T, where I stands for simple interest, P for principal, R for rate, and T for time. Now, I will give five real-life problems or situations applying the concept of simple interest. Kenneth borrowed 2,000 pesos at 12% interest for two years. Find the interest. First, we need to write the given numbers, which are the principal, rate, and the time. As well as, we must write the formula. Philomena borrowed 2,000 pesos from her friend at an interest rate of 1% per month. She promised to pay it within 3 months. How much interest will Philomena have to pay for the term of the loan? In this situation, we are looking for the simple interest and the given are principal, rate, and time. We will use the formula I is equal to P times R times T. The interest due for a 12% two-year loan amounted to 24000 How much is the principal amount of the loan? In this situation, we are looking for the principal, where the given are the simple interest, rate, and the time. What is the rate if a principal of 40,000 earned 3,200 interest in 12 months? In this problem, we are looking for the rate where the given are the simple interest, principal, and the time. There borrowed a loan amounting to 360000 at 10%. How long will it take for the loan to accumulate 144000 interest? In this situation, we are looking for the time, where the given are the simple interest, principal, and the rate. In conclusion, simple interest is relevant to saving, borrowing, and investing, though it's typically most fruitful when borrowing because it means your debt won't pile on over time.